So you wanna add some RAM to Minecraft. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Now, first things first, you need to consider how much RAM your computer has. To find this, we just wanna go ahead and click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen if you're on Windows 11, and type in system information. So I have this app here, so go ahead and open it. And then in here, we wanna find installed physical memory. Right here it is for me, and as you can see, next to that, it says RAM when you hover over it. This is how much RAM your computer has. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's not uncommon to have 32 gigabytes of RAM, 16 or even eight gigabytes of RAM on your computer. You never wanna dedicate more than half of the amount of RAM you have here to Minecraft. So for example, if you have eight gigabytes, that would be four gigabytes, 16, that would be eight. Or in my case, if you did have 64, 32 gigabytes of RAM. But there's also another part of this equation that we need to look at, which is how much RAM does Minecraft actually need? Well, for vanilla Minecraft, you only really need, in most cases, two gigabytes of RAM. Sometimes it can be good to just go ahead and add four gigabytes of RAM just as a precaution, but usually two gigabytes will get the job done. For modded Minecraft, which is where you have any mods, just any mods installed, I would go ahead and up it to four gigabytes just to be safe. If you let's say have 100 to 200 mods, that's where four gigabytes to even six gigabytes could be needed depending on the mods that you're running. So if you have in this range of mods, I'd go ahead and just up to six gigabytes. For 200 plus mods, you're looking at at least eight gigabytes, but in some cases you might even need more RAM than that. So let's say you have a big mod pack, 250 plus mods, you get in there and you're noticing that you're getting some random lag, but it seems to be it's maxing out on RAM or Minecraft's crashing. And you might want to add 10 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft in that case. But this is a general rule of thumb. For vanilla, 2 to 4. For any mods, you know, under 100, 4 gigabytes should be good. 100 to 200 mods, 4 gigabytes to 6 gigabytes. And then obviously, 200 plus mods, 8 gigabytes or even more. So how do we add RAM now that we know how much we should add? Well, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, luckily, if you're using this for a Curse Forge mod pack or anything like that, it's the exact same process. Just get into the Minecraft launcher via Curse Forge. And then once you're there, we can use your mod pack installation instead of what we're gonna do here, which is just a vanilla installation. So let's just click on installations up here at the top. Now, if you are doing this for a mod pack, you wanna make sure that modded is checked right there. As you can see, you uncheck it and modded installations will disappear. Now, in order to edit any installation, just hover over it, click the three dots and click on edit. Again, this is the same for a CurseForge mod pack or any mod pack that takes you through the default Minecraft launcher here. Just hover over the installation and click on the three dots and click edit. Then you wanna scroll down and click on more options here. Then scroll down again and you'll see this at the beginning, XMX. Now, the number may be different, but what this number is, is how much RAM is dedicated to Minecraft. And by the way, if it's XMX MB or something like that, you wanna make sure you change it to G, right? You wanna make sure that it's 2G, 4G, 6G. The G means gigabytes. And that means in this case, we have two gigabytes dedicated to Minecraft. You could do four, you could do six, you could do eight, or like I said, very resource intensive mod packs can even take 10 gigabytes of RAM. But to add more RAM to Minecraft, that's all you need to do. Change this number after XMX to whatever the amount of RAM you want is. We'll go ahead and be a little aggressive here and we'll do six G. That means six gigabytes of RAM is now dedicated to Minecraft. We can go ahead and click save here, and then we can launch on into Minecraft. That was our latest release. Now, once we get in game, I'm gonna show you how to see how much RAM you have in Minecraft while you're playing. That way you can verify that this actually worked. You can also see how much RAM you're using and even if you're using too much. So let's go ahead and click into single player and then launch in here. This will also work on servers, doesn't matter. You can see how much RAM your client is using on a server. But once you're in game, you simply wanna hit F3. Now, if you're on a laptop, it might be FN and F3, but overall you wanna hit the F3 button on your keyboard to open up this menu. Think of it like where all the information about Minecraft is. And on the right hand side, right here at the top, we have the memory. That's your RAM. That's how much RAM you have dedicated. So 6144 megabytes is six gigabytes of RAM dedicated. You can see the percentage we're using. As you can see, it's not a lot. It's under two gigabytes. We would be fine here with two gigabytes of RAM, especially because Minecraft's gonna use less RAM and clear faster with less RAM dedicated to it. But as you can see, boom, six gigabytes. We're not anywhere using 50% even. It's plenty of RAM, and that's why four gigabytes is plenty for vanilla Minecraft in pretty much all cases. That's how you can see how much RAM you have, and uh, yeah, that's that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. 
And be sure to check out our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting, at the first link in the description down below. At Apex, you'll be able to set your own server up quickly and easily with mods or mod packs or plugins, anything you want. And they have 24 hours, 7 day a week support to help you out. So go check out Apex at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz slash Apex to start your Minecraft server. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.